All right, well, why don't we go ahead and get started? I know we have quite a few joining. I'm sure we'll have some more uh, join along the way, but uh, excited to get the webinar going. This is a, a introduction to our Garmin Descent MK2 series uh, dive computer. So quick uh, couple of notes on how the session is going to flow today. Um, you'll be able to submit questions along the way in the chat section, I have a question section down at the bottom of your, uh, your GoToMeeting. That will be uh, something that we monitor along the way. We'll collect questions and spend some time at the end of the session talking uh, through those questions, trying to get everything answered for you guys. We are going to be recording this session for, uh, for later. We'll post the session out on our YouTube channel. All right, so I want to talk about um, uh, who you're going to be uh, interacting with on today's session. My name is Patrick Danko. I'm the dive product manager for Garmin. Uh, I'm a, a dive master, a rebreather diver, technical diver, uh, and have been at Garmin uh, for about uh, 15 years now, so been around a little bit. Uh, we also have Ard Audra Ratliff, who is the head of our outdoor uh, product marketing team, and Brian Yalowitz, who's director of product strategy and, and sales in North America here for Apple. Uh, Audra will be the one, by the way, as you post questions, she'll be uh, taking those questions, answering what we can uh, in chat, and then uh, collecting some of those for our Q&A at the end, of the, the end of the session today. So I wanted to start off with a, a quick note on where we've come from. Uh, if you followed Garmin at all in the dive space, we launched our first dive computer in early 2018 with the Descent MK1. Um, this is our entry into the dive market. You know, we're still a new player in dive, but it's been a core focus for us really since well before 2018, as we decided this is an important market for us to get into. Uh, the Descent MK1 series has been a huge success for us. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, the Descent MK1 is a GPS enabled dive computer that combines uh, robust dive computer functionality with, with smartwatch features and also Garmin signature surface use capabilities for sports and adventure and wellness. And our goal with the MK1 and really the Descent MK line in general is to provide divers with um, more value to their dive computer purchase than you know, was really possible in the past. We wanted to provide something that could be an everyday wear item that provides smartwatch features, that provides uh, surface use functionality, um, but doesn't compromise on dive computer capabilities. And that's, that's really what we went after with the Descent MK1 series, that no compromise experience of, of dive computer capability and top-notch surface use experience. And that's something that we're carrying forward with the MK2. When we set out to design the MK2, um, we really had three questions that we asked ourselves. Um, the most important is what do divers want and what do divers need? Uh, we pulled in a lot of feedback that we had gotten from our MK1 users, from our beta testers, from what we've observed in the market, what we, we see on the forums and in social around you know, what are divers looking for. Uh, and we then combined that with what can we provide? What new experiences, what new innovations can we provide? And this isn't just pulling from you know, what we had built with MK1, but we are also able to look across the full breadth of Garmin from our outdoor teams, our marine teams, our, you know, our aviation, our, our sports fitness. Um, we have a lot of, uh, of depth and breadth in Garmin's R&D uh, organization, and we were able to tap into that to really look for new experiences that we can provide customers, provide divers, and ultimately, uh, hopefully provide a really exciting, compelling product. Um, the last question here is uh, honestly the most important, which is how can we make diving safer and more enjoyable? At the end of the day, this is a dive computer. Its primary job is to keep a diver safe underwater provide them the situational awareness, the, the critical information and guidance to allow them to dive safely and ultimately provide that in a, a, a high usability way to make it really easy and intuitive, <clears throat> excuse me, to understand that information, which hopefully provides that diver enough peace of mind to, to enjoy their dive, sort of take their mind off of those details 
and enjoy the world around them. So with that, I'm going to uh, introduce our Descent MK2 series. And I'm gonna kick this off with our, um, our feature benefit video. So one second while I switch over to that. All right, so I wanna get into some of the details around what makes the uh, MK2 series uh, so special. And that's gonna start with a conversation of uh, kind of the core hardware features and capabilities. Uh, with MK2, we built on what we did with MK1 with the sunlight uh, readable uh, transflective MIP display. We made that larger with MK2. So it sports a 1.4 inch display, which is a third larger than the, uh, than the MK1. Go back to PowerPoint here. And uh, that additional uh, screen real estate allows us to do some, some nice things. We can show additional data. We'll talk about air integration data here in a minute. So it gives us more space to do that. Uh, it also allows us space to allow customization on the main dive page. And we also provide some additional customization in new dive pages. And we, uh, we can both make that font larger and provide more data to the diver with that bigger display. Uh, despite having a larger display, we uh, haven't really increased the size of the watch too terribly much. It's a 52 millimeter case. It's about 17.8 uh, uh, millimeters thick. So it's really still a very everyday wearable design. And that's important. That really is a key goal for us to make this something you really don't want to take off uh, even after you get off the dive boat. Uh, we've introduced new uh, leak proof uh, button technology with inductive buttons. So inductive buttons allows us to um, eliminate holes through the case. It eliminates O-rings which can leak and fail. Uh, so the uh, button technology is something new and uh, I think makes the design of the MK2 really, really rugged and robust. Uh, we also have kept the scratch resistant sapphire lens uh, that we use also on the Descent MK1 series that allows you to use that um, really without having to worry about screen protectors and things getting in the way of that uh, display. We have uh, GPS and GLONASS for automatic marking of entry and exit points, uh, as well as for uh, surface use functionality. Uh, we have a new optical uh, biometric sensor on the back, and that allows us to pull wrist-based heart rate and pulse ox data. And we have our standard set of uh, core sensors with altimeter, barometer, three-axis compass, and thermometer. And finally, we do have a carry forward or quick fit band system, which is uh, something that was extremely popular with the MK1 series. And that quick fit, <clears throat> excuse me, quick fit band system allows very easy toolless band changes. So with the unit, with the MK2 products, we ship our standard black three piece 
dive band set. So you get a, a black set with a standard length band to wear over a bare wrist or a thin wetsuit. And then we also include a quick fit long extension strap. And that allows you to go onto a thicker wetsuit or a dry suit uh, in, a, in a second, literally snaps on, snaps off, but is very, very secure. Uh, we have uh, introducing with the MK2 series some additional colors of those three piece dive band sets in white, uh, spearmint, and gray. And we're going to continue to offer also very popular titanium uh, dive bands. So it's a DLC coated titanium band with a diver's extension. So these are really the sets that, uh, that come or really focused with our MK2 series. We also support Garmin's very wide lineup of uh, 26 millimeter uh, quick fit bands. So if you go out and look around on uh, any of our quick fit 26 bands, we have a ton of colors of silicone bands. We have bands in leather and in nylon and various metal finishes. Uh, all of those are compatible with the, the Descent MK2 series. Uh, hallmark of the Descent MK2 series and really our entire uh, Descent lineup is smartwatch functionality. And uh, this includes things like messages and notifications, pushing from your phone, caller ID, calendar reminders, we'll pull weather data, um, and a very popular feature is find my phone. So when you've lost your phone in your, uh, in your seat cushions, in your, uh, under your pillow in your bed, you can trigger a uh, an alarm to go off on your phone from your watch and help you find it. So these are really basic essentials that make the descent line something that is useful every day. Um, that gets built on with some of our wellness features that Garmin is also uh, very well known for. So descent MK2 series includes daily step counting, uh, it tracks stairs climbed, it tracks your sleep quality, um, your pulse ox, your heart rate, uh, stress levels. So things that really help you better manage your overall wellness and also supports um, with our surface use activity profiles, a wide array of sports and adventure activities, uh, including running, biking, swimming, hiking, uh, we include golf with thousands of preloaded golf courses on the watch. Uh, things like kayaking and skiing, um, it comes with onboard maps and the ability to load additional maps, including things like topographic maps uh, onto the watch. Also with Descent MK2, we have added in some of our newest surface use uh, functionality. That includes things like music streaming. So with our music functionality, you can pull down your playlist from Spotify or Amazon Music and other services, store those on the watch and stream those directly to your Bluetooth head, head, uh, headphones. So you don't have to have your, your uh, phone right there with you. Also with Garmin Pay, uh, similarly, we allow you to load up your card of choice onto, uh, onto the watch and be able to pay for things. So this is really handy for divers. If you've got your, your wallet and your uh, phone and your dry bag uh, and you, you're running into the dive shop or in a convenience store and need to pay for something, you can just uh, use your watch there to pay. Uh, we've also added preloaded our Tides application, which allows uh, the diver to pull down and review tide tables from uh, almost anywhere in the world. One of the distinguishing features um, about Garmin products is also our, our application ecosystem. Uh, we have a, an application ecosystem called Connect IQ. Uh, you can download the Connect IQ app from your mobile, uh, mobile store of choice and find thousands of watch faces and data fields and widgets that you can load onto the Descent Series dive computers. So if you wanted a different watch face, if you wanted some additional applications, you wanted uh, the ability to see additional types of data, this is an ecosystem that is not just powered by Garmin's team adding, uh, adding applications and watch faces in, but it's also an open environment where anyone can download the Connect IQ SDK and build their own um, content for the watch.
So that's a lot about the surface features. The, really the heart of this though, the heart of the Descent MK2 series is it's, it's a dive computer. And I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about that. There's a lot of similarities. If you have used a Descent MK1, the dive experience will seem very, very familiar. Uh, we've pulled in our, our dive profiles, our dive types, single gas, multi-gas, closed circuit rebreather. We have two free diving modes, an apnea and apnea hunt and a gauge mode. Um, with that, we provide a dive planner, uh, actually two dive planners, a standard type dive planner where you can enter depth and time and, and calculate your NDLs. Um, we also provide a, a basic decompression table generator. So if you put in your gas loadout, a dive depth and a dive time, it'll spit out a, uh, a decompression plan for you. Um, that's all based off of Buhlman's ehl 16 c which is our dive algorithm that we're running under the hood, uh, which includes gradient factors. Uh, we do support three preset gradient factors to make it easy uh, to, to pick one that might be right for you. And we also support full custom gradient factors so you can choose your GF high and your GF low. Um, we also have audible and vibration alerts, and you can uh, set those. Uh, you can set manual ones for either depth or time. And you can also uh, hit the uh, tap to page feature. If you want to change pages, we have buttons to change pages. We also, if you're wearing thick gloves, like dry gloves, for example, and it's tough to get at those buttons, we uh, will allow you to tap, double tap on the, the front of the screen, and it will change your dive pages. It makes it easy, especially in cold water. Uh, we, of course, have a, an awesome three-axis digital compass, um, and the uh, the UI is something worth talking about as well. I, I know in my history with dive computers, a lot of the times you're really struggling to figure out both how to set up the dive computer for the dive you're getting ready to do, as well as trying to understand what a dive computer might be telling you in the middle of the dive. And with the, uh, the screen and the UI that we've built for the descent, we really try to make that very intuitive. We give you uh, alerts and indications and text and words, uh, not just blinking icons. Uh, you know, we give you um, menus and labels um, in words that are translated. Uh, so if you're diving internationally, you want something in a different language, chances are it's in there. It makes it a very, very intuitive experience. It's not only good for we're setting up and using it daily, but it also improves safety so that when we need to tell you something, we'll, we'll be able to communicate that very, very clearly. Uh, we also have in here a, a very uh, robust dive log. All of the stats about your dive are gonna be saved in the dive log. And on the watch, we will also show you uh, your depth profile charts and graphs, uh, temperature. Uh, we'll talk about your integration. You'll be able to see your gas consumption stats, and you'll also be able to see a map with your entry and exit points. Uh, we do support air, nitrox, and trimix uh, up to 100% O2. Um, you can have up to 12 gases per dive profile, and that's something maybe worth, worth pausing on a minute. So we have, um, for each of those dive types, a separate gas profile. So if I'm diving recreationally on air or maybe nitrox, I can keep that set. But at the same time, if I've got a, a tech loadout or a CCR with my bailout that's sort of set for my next dive, I can keep those gases in there and set. So I'm not having to constantly go in and change uh, between, uh, you know, eliminating all of my deco gases I don't need for a recreational dive or adding those back in when I go on, a, say, a CCR dive. So those, uh, those 12 gases are per profile, which makes it very easy to set up and change between dive types. I mentioned the GPS functionality. Uh, we have a uh, GPS and GLONASS sensor that will automatically mark your entry and exit points from the water. Um, those are displayed on a map on the, the uh, watch itself, and also that's uh, added to the dive log that gets transferred over to our Garmin Dive mobile app. I'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, you can also save these dive points out as waypoints, uh, which is really handy if you want to uh, navigate your way back on top of that particular point. Uh, so this is obviously popular with, uh, with people who find some sort of thing underwater, a wreck, a particular part of a reef, 
um, or especially for our uh, free divers or spear fishers who found a really good dive spot that they want to mark and be able to get over the top of later. With the uh, Descent MK2, we've updated our ascent experience in dives. So one of the things that is uh, slightly different from MK1 is the way that we're handling our ascent profile. So um, you can see this on that first uh, that first uh, watch face. What we're what we're providing the diver as they ascend is uh, both a text um, indication of their next stop depth and stop time. In this case, is indicating standard safety stop. But that would also show um, a series of decompression stops, and that's that's represented visually on the left of the dive computer by a series of stops um, with sort of red or yellow above them. And that needle is the diver ascends towards a deco stop is going to show how close they are to that deco stop. If it's a if it's a deco stop, it'll be red above that, indicating you need to stop there and, and finish your stop. As soon as you've cleared that stop, that, seg that segment turns green and they're clear to go up to the next stop, which would be red. In the case of optional stops like safety stops, we'll show that as yellow, but we treat it in the same way. So especially for more complicated ascents, you get a visual representation of how many stops you have ahead of you which stops you've cleared and how many you have left in addition to the, the, uh, the numerical stop depth and time. We also have, as I mentioned before, the ability to let you customize the main dive page there where it has temperature. You can swap that out really for any of our dive data fields. Um, and we also have the ability for you to add a full custom dive pages that pull in uh, any of the dive data that we have available. Uh, from a dive logging standpoint, uh, we'll log all of that information, as I mentioned, on the watch. You can review that on the watch. But really, the advantage here is the Garmin Dive app. And this is an evolution from our prior Garmin Connect app, which is still available, still will show you dive data. Uh, but we wanted to provide a dive-specific experience, and the new Garmin Dive app is how we're doing that. So after your dive, as soon as the Descent MK2 sees your phone, it will transmit the dive log information off the watch um, through the phone up to our Garmin Dive ecosystem. Alternatively, if your phone's not around, but the watch has a pairing to a Wi-Fi network, it can upload that directly from the watch over Wi-Fi up to our Garmin Dive ecosystem. And then in the Garmin Dive mobile app, you can uh, not only set up and configure your descent watch, but you can see each of those dives, the dive log functionality is quite robust, including map of your dive, graphs and charts of your depth and time and temperature, gas consumption rates, and all of the dive data um, that you would want to fill out for your traditional dive log. You'll also see in the Garmin Dive app a new section that we call Explore, where we have thousands of preloaded dive sites. Uh, this allows you to browse around and find uh, new dive sites that you might like to explore. Uh, also noteworthy is integration between the Descent MK2 series and our, and our InReach satellite communicator uh, product. Um, specifically, InReach Mini uh, is a great tool for divers. The InReach system is a, is a uh, two-way satellite communications tool that allows you to take uh, that small unit and send and receive text messages and share your location. This pairs with the Descent MK2 to allow you to use that tool from your wrist to both send messages and trigger SOSs. Um, the InReach product includes an SOS functionality that if pressed will uh, send a, a request for help to a 24-7 man global emergency response team that will be able to talk back and forth to you over that satellite link, um, figure out what your situation is and organize the appropriate rescue. Um, we have recently launched a dive case for the InReach Mini and this allows you to take that InReach Mini on you with, with you on your dive so that it's with you if you need to ascend and signal for help. 
So now getting to the good stuff. So ever since we launched the MK1, um, it has been by far and away the most popular request from our, uh, our divers um, uh, to add air integration. And with the MK2 series and with the T1 transmitter, we're very excited to bring air integration to the product line. I'm gonna show you a quick exploded view video of this. I think it's kind of cool. So this is our... The understand way. Uh, where we have done something different is decided instead of using traditional uh, RF uh, to communicate between the, the uh, tank transmitter and watch, we're using sonar. Garmin has a, a deep um, understanding and history working with sonar in our marine products, and we've been able to leverage that experience to create something really truly amazing for, for divers uh, with subwave. Subwave is our name, our brand for this new scratch built underwater data communications network. Um, and with Subwave, we're delivering air integration to divers uh, with new features that I think will really change the way a lot of divers uh, use air integration and think about air integration in their dive planning. So what are the advantages of Subwave, of uh, sonar based communication? Well, you get good reliability uh, the, the biggest improvement is range. So where a traditional RF uh, tank transmitter will uh, run two, maybe three meters, um, subwave, we will run up to 10 meters. And that allows you to really think about air integration data sharing, not just for your own tanks, but with your buddies and with your buddies at ranges that you would actually be diving. You don't have to be shoulder to shoulder with your buddy to get their, their, uh, their tank pressure data. In addition, we've added the ability to pair up to five T1s. And with that, that really opens up possibilities of using this in a buddy team situation or in a more complex uh, tech diving loadout where you may have multiple tanks to monitor. Uh, for instructors, they'd have the ability to uh, monitor their own tank pressures and that of of the students that they're working to instruct. So it really starts to provide a platform and, and new ways of diving, leveraging air integration uh, and air data in new ways. The, uh, the battery for the T1 transmitter is user replaceable. Uh, so it uses a user replaceable CR123 battery. We'll talk about battery life here in a minute, but that makes it very easy to, uh, to take extra batteries with you. The form factor of the T1 is a very standard transmitter size, um, very easy to, uh, to put onto the high pressure port on your regulator or onto a high pressure hose. Uh, we do provide a, an air spool in the package. So if you do want to relocate that transmitter with a high pressure hose, you're able to do that. Things that will display for you on the MK2i when you have that T1 paired uh, will we'll display, of course, your tank pressure. We'll do airtime remaining calculations based off your gas consumption rate. Uh, if you give us uh, tank specs when you're setting up the transmitter, uh, we'll be able to calculate that volumetrically. So we'll give you your SAC, uh, RMV, or, or just raw pressure over time. Uh, we'll also, of course, transmit battery status. Uh, when you're pairing those transmitters on the surface, that pairing is done over our ANT uh, wireless protocol, the same protocol we use to connect to our heart rate sensors, for example. And that has, uh, that has a 10 meter range. And uh, then when you get in the water, that will cut over to our subwave sonar network for communication underwater. We do allow you to name those transmitters. So as you're pairing it, you have the option to label it. So this could be, you know, your, the name of your buddy. If you're repairing a second one, it could be left tank, right tank. 
uh, depends on your situation. We do, by the way, if you're diving side mount, you can select which tanks you want to include in your sack and your basic gas consumption calculation. So you can select two tanks to use. So if you're switching back and forth, you don't lose half your gas consumption data. Let's talk about battery life for both the MK2 and the T1. So the MK2, um, the battery life of this is something that's really important to us. It's something that's been um, a hallmark for us and something that differentiates our smart watches, not just from other dive computers, but really any smart watches on the market today. Uh, we have a battery life in smartwatch modes or normal wearing it around every day of up to 16 days. Um, in diving, if you're not using it with a T1 transmitter, you can get up to 80 hours of battery. Uh, if you've got it paired with a T1, uh, we'll give you up to 32 hours. So that's still enough to, to get you well through a weekend of diving if you're on, a, um, you know, on vacation. Um, on the T1, we with a, a fresh CR123 battery, we'll support up to 100 hours of, of standard usage with that. So you get a long, long battery life out of that T1. Pricing and availability. So uh, let's talk about this a little bit. We have in the MK2 series, two watches, and you'll see those here. The MK2 uh, features, um, has all the features that we talked about without subwave, so no air integration. Uh, it comes with a stainless steel and PVD two-tone bezel, and that retails for $12.99 US. And then there's the MK2i, which is our air integrated version. So that has subwave integration. There's a sonar transducer in the back of that that's talking to T1s. Uh, that comes with a DLC-coated titanium bezel, and that uh, retails for $14.99 US. And then the T1 transmitter uh, uh, retails for 399 US. And then uh, that is about it. So I wanna open this up for questions.